Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. We've now got part three of the trial of Hashet Partworks build the Hogwarts Express. It's too hot, there's no way I'm going to be able to do it in this. Ah, that's better. <laughs> These studio lights, I'm telling you, I would have cooked if I was wearing that. Anyway, listen, we've got part three uh, of the Hogwarts Express. I'm guessing this is probably going to go to four in the trial rather than uh, three. Uh, because as you can see, I'll show you that in a second. We have got uh, some details coming in the next issue. Now we're doing some wheels in this. And I'll tell you what, I've already opened the stuff up over here. The parts are amazing. Detailed metal. You're going to love it when you see it. Let me just show you what we're going to do in this uh, stage. So as you can see, we've got the seats. Now we aren't gonna do anything with the seats, but look at this. This is what the seat looks like, and it's got the felt material on it. A little bit like we had for the Ferrari F40 build. It feels absolutely brilliant. The quality is unsurpassed, and everything that you're gonna see here is metal. As you can see, I don't know if you, uh, actually if I get two together, you can see that. Details are immaculate. That's not only the wheels, but the caps. The axles, all metal, even the handles that we're going to be putting on for the steam box are all metal. Uh, so what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be putting a bit more signage on the front of the steam box hatch. Uh, we're going to be putting the steam lance valve in, making the handle which is going to enable us to lock the door. Which might be a bit tricky, so I'll try and figure out the orientation of that for a locked door. I believe it's locked when it's in a three o'clock position, but uh, I will check that. And then we're going to start attaching some of the wheels to the axles there. That's all we're going to do in this stage. And then in the next stage, as you can see, we've got some more details uh, for the smoke box stack. We're going to be uh, starting to assemble the chimney, uh, which looks really good now the problem with this is that if it does end after issue four i'm going to be sad because this is one of the most detailed things i've seen up to the sort of standards the spitfire is to be honest with you so please hash it if you're watching this you get the thumbs up from me please go ahead with this trial so i can't wait to get into this without further ado let's get cracking okay so just showing you again what we've done last time we've done the uh, smoke box here with the hatch. And uh, we've got some other details, which they just wanted us to put on lightly here. They don't actually want us to glue this on yet, looking like that. We did have the Hogwarts Castle. This is metal as well, badge, looking like that. Uh, we completed the lamp in the last issue, looking like that. And we had a tiny little Harry Potter figurine looking just like that, which we don't do anything with at the moment, so we can put that to one side. I'm just going to remove this again, otherwise this is just going to keep falling off, because uh, it's this section that we're going to be working on first. So the first thing we need to do is we need to fix a plate to the smoke box door. And as you can see, this says 10A. This is just going to be going on the front of the smoke box, just into this section, just here. So what I'm going to do, I've already poured some glue out. I'm just going to touch Touch a tiny bit of glue just on the area this goes. It does say in the instructions to put it on the pin behind it, but I don't think that's going to hold it very well. And if you're not using much glue, then I can't see why it's going to be a problem putting it in here. Now, you obviously need to make sure the numbers are the right way around in this. So I'll put that in. And as you can see, that fits perfectly in like that. It says 10A. Now, the next little detail we've got, I'm actually going to just hold in my tweezers here is a steam lance valve and it needs to go this way around with a detail at the back pointing down not that way so uh, this is just going to be going just onto the side next to the hatch just here so once again drop some glue in there the tiniest amount of glue just enough to keep the detail into place there we go push that in till I'm happy with it that looks good and there we go that's the lance valve in place now we can put the box to one side because we need these two parts of the locking handle and it does say these two parts are quite fragile uh, but what we need to do first is we've got the handle here so we put this handle just down here like that and we're going to thread it onto the threads that we've got there so i'm going to hold that into place and turn that to start getting that in Now, if it doesn't go one way, take it off, flip it over, and check it the other way. 
there we go this is going in absolutely perfectly now you want to put this all the way down to the handle keep turning just like that I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap so it looks just like that so now we're going to be putting this handle through the hole in the door just like that so it's coming out the other side there and then we're going to be putting a locking shaft just on the end here which looks just like oh, let's show you this it's very thin just like this it's a tiny tiny piece like that but it is going to need a tiny bit of glue just into the whole section on this side so i'll put that in now now as you can see this is still able to move around so what we do is we put this down and put it into the locking position which means i need to turn this this way around so that the horizontal of this part we just put in goes into this section here so what we want to do is when we've got that in the lock position we want to actually turn these bottom handle here to tighten that up and we really want it to be kind of like in a three o'clock position so i'll get this round and i'll show you what it looks like when it's finished the bottom handle by moving it is tightening that spindle so it's not woggling around anymore so when that's done as you can see that's in this position at the moment and it's locked at the back so when i push the outside handle down i can now all the way open the door just like that close it again put it in place and then turn the handle back up again very good i did like that that was a little bit tricky that one was though so we can put that to one side now we're going to be working just on these wheels here we've got two wheels an axle two caps and we've got some screws so we'll get the screws open so the first thing we're going to do is put one of the wheels in the axle they can only go in one way because they are shaped and it goes in this way here so just keep revolving it around until it slips in like that we're going to put a screw in on the other side here screw here now this screw is an allen screw and they do provide an allen key on this one to tighten that up so i'll put that in spin it around and get that into place and just make sure that's nice and tight in there then we've got these caps that need to go on so we put the first one just on this side here the other axle just goes on the top like that and then we're putting this wheel just in like that and once again another screw down this side and I'll tell you what, to say this is just two wheels and an axle, because it's all metal, it's quite heavy, it is making me wonder what the whole weight of this is going to be when it's finished. Make sure it's nice and tight. And there we go. And that is the first set of wheels in place. So we've got the wheels, we've got this excellent seat with this lovely felt material here. And we've got the smoke box, which I'll just put the uh, Hogwarts Express sign on again, just so you can get to see how that looks. Looking just like that. Uh, coupled with, as I said before, let's put Harry Potter on the seat there. Sitting down nicely. We've got the Hogwarts Ex uh, Castle badge there, and we've got the lamp. And this is what we've done so far in the first three issues of this trial. Now that's all there is to do in this stage. I really do hope there is a stage four, but... Uh, this should go into production. I really do hope it does. There's going to be so many people crying out for this. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.